Hello everyone. In this short, we're going to talk about importing existing infrastructure into Terraform. I have a configuration already deployed that has created an SSH key. And then using that SSH key, I created a virtual machine in DigitalOcean uh, called example in New York City 3. Now, if I want to import this virtual machine into my into my configuration, I can use this import block. The import block takes two attributes, the ID and two. The ID is the ID of the resource that you want to import. So for example, in this import, I want to import a DigitalOcean droplet. So the ID is going to be the ID of the droplet, which I can get by going to the DigitalOcean UI and getting the ID out of the URL. So now that I have the ID, I can go back, put that in, and now I need a place in the configuration to map this, this resource back to, right? I have DigitalOcean SSH key example here, but I have nothing that specifies the droplet. So if I were to try to import this right now and do a plan, Terraform will say, hey, you can't do this. There's nowhere for me to map this back to, but you can use this experimental generate config out if you'd like to generate configuration for you. And you'll see that the generated has populated a, an example resource here for me to use. So I'm actually going to use that real quick and I'm going to pull it into my main.tf. And now that I have that, you'll see that I can use this. So let me remove the generated. And if I do a Terraform plan, you'll see that Terraform says, hey, I, I read that resource and I want to import it. But I don't need all of these attributes set, right? I don't care about the droplet agent or graceful. I, I never set these. I just use their defaults. So I can get rid of them in my configuration and only set the things that I care about which are usually just these here, right? And I like to put the name first. So now these are all the things that I set on my droplet, but you'll notice that SSH keys here, usually I, I want the SSH key to be linked. So I'll, I'll put that one in here. And now I have the SSH key linked. And if I do Terraform plan, you'll see that it does want to import my resource, but it wants to replace it because the SSH keys are new for this resource. Now you might get alarmed and say, hey, like I just wanted to import the resource. Why is it trying to re re recreate it? Well, that's going to happen sometimes when you import resources. Not all APIs give all the necessary information to, to allow Terraform to import things cleanly. You might have to work around things. So in this case, the, the API from DigitalOcean does not give you back the SSH keys that a VM currently has attached to it. So you can't import the VM with SSH keys cleanly. You're going to have to... Uh, take that out of your configuration, run plan, run apply, and get the the resource imported first. And then now you have the resource imported. And if you, at a, at a certain time in your leisure, if you ever want to set that key again, you're going to have to take the hit and put that back in your configuration and do the replacement. This is just a limitation of the API. But you as the engineer, you need to know these things, right? Because if you're importing resources, you have to be very careful for cases like this where an import that that is clean on configuration might still want to recreate your resource. So to recap, if you want to manage existing resources with Terraform, you can do what's called an import operation. That import will bring that, config, that resource into your configuration and into your state file. So now if I did a Terraform state list, you'll see that I'm managing both the SSH key and the droplet. So that's what import does. But I, I wanted to show you also this, I don't, I don't really want to call this a bug because it's not really a bug, but I wanted to show you the fact that not all imports are smooth, right? There's going to be times where you're going to have to make a decision, make an engineering decision and see like, what do you want to do? So in this case, the SSH keys didn't work out well, but we made an engineering decision here to say, you know what, we'll ignore that for now. And eventually we'll come back and, and populate SSH keys and do the proper replacement. I hope you enjoyed this short and I will see you in the next one.